Vale, me voy a poner otra vez el aspecto de siempre, el que a mí me gusta. Y... Sí, creo que aquí hay algo. Algo nuevo en la casa. No sé si estará en el cuarto de la madre. Vale, la lupa ya la miramos. Tiene que haber algo nuevo. Esto. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Y esto también es nuevo. I hope Wooden Joe won't object to a new friend. Pero sigue marcado. Hay algo que no que no estoy mirando. Quizá esté fuera. El elefante, mira dónde está. Esto sigue cerrado, así que nada. La caja, puede ser. Vale, esto es lo que me envió el, el pintor, el artista. Es un bizarro objeto, y aún más oddly familiar. Did you just remember something? Yes. A room full of curiosities and artifacts. I think I can find it in the manor. Sherlock. So, you continue to pursue the imaginary. I had hoped you might have got all this out of your system by now. Mycroft. What are you doing here? Get out of my house. It's my house, actually. I've come to bring you back. I have no interest in returning, let alone with you. I know you lied about Mother all these years, claiming she was merely ill, but she was unstable. She never had tuberculosis. She was not recuperating, but mentally deteriorating, and you never once thought to tell me. How dare you? I shall not indulge this petulant tantrum. You can just tie yourself out and then slink back to London with your tail between your legs. Just tell me everything. I'm an adult now. I... Show me the basic courtesy of an explanation. You know what I will find out eventually. The goal was stability, and that's what you got. The right thing for everyone was to try and move on from her passing. The consequences of one's actions determines what is right or wrong. Yes, exactly. The ends justify the means. After leaving Cordona, Sherlock, you had a normal childhood. In London, I was able to support you, guide you, shape you into a fine and productive young man. You have so much potential, so much to offer society. But that's not the end. Now I found the truth, and it has shattered everything I knew about her, about you, and about myself. I feel unstable because of you. Your actions were not justified. Lying never is. Oh, grow up, Sherlock. It was a white lie which has as much use in the realm of the interpersonal as the international. It is time you come to accept that some things are bigger than yourself. Oh, you are full of it. You like to pretend you care about the big picture, but it's just an ego trip. 
You like knowing more than others. You like greasing palms and rubbing shoulders with the rich and powerful. You like having eyes and ears everywhere. The fact it helps the nation is incidental. Because all you care about is yourself. It's true. I have agents everywhere, including Cordona. If you weren't so damn stubborn, you'd realize that means I'm only here for you. Vale, vamos a ver qué habitación es esa que se ha abierto. Esa, ¿no? Eso tampoco. Me da a mí que hay que descubrirla. No se va a abrir sola. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Ah, vale. Ahora. No puede ser, esta ya está abierta. Esta, esta que está aquí, sí, la de las pirámides. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. I remember returning home with a pair of perfect sticks. We wanted to turn them into training swords. Oh, that's right. We stood there, frozen, staring at something huge in the main hall. It was a giant aquarium with a living mermaid in it. Impossible. It must have been something else. Oh, of course. That mortifying hoax presently taking up space in our front yard. Well, fine. Your memory's better than mine. But I'm sure we started examining it immediately. And someone else was around, too. It was my mother. She asked what I thought of the artifact. You were really concentrating and holding something in your hand. I inspected it with a magnifying glass and was able to confirm it was made of two different skeletons. The mermaid was a fake. And so it was time to smash the thing. Your mother took a hammer and... Slow down, John. That's not how it happened. I remember other people joined us. The workers took the artifact and placed it into the Cabinet of Curiosities. It became part of Mother's collection of fakes. She always said that the truth lies in the details. This mermaid helped me to learn that. Ahora que el gabinete de curiosidades está abierto, puedo proseguir con mis investigaciones. A ver, el gabinete es este que está aquí. Ah, yes, my mother's studio. She was an authenticator, and this was her cabinet of curiosities. I never saw the point. What does it matter if some artifact is real or not? It still exists. Ah, no sé si seguir. Claro, es que esto pertenece al a la historia principal. Terminar con con los casos secundarios.
Vale, vamos a ver este. Robando el espectáculo. Han robado tres, en tres casas de Gran Sarai durante unos espectáculos de magia. La policía lo está investigando sin aparentemente progreso alguno. Tenemos que ir a los archivos policiales primero. Tenemos el distrito Gran Sarai, eso seguro. Crímenes contra la propiedad, que es un robo. Y el siguiente, sospechosos quizá, o testigos, o mejor víctimas. Para saber dónde han robado. Ahí está. Nota de la policía. Enviad una unidad que investigue los robos de la, en las direcciones consignadas. Vigilad bien a ese tal asombroso Alonso. Tiene que estar involucrado de algún modo. Jefe de policía Donovan. Pero no nos ha dicho dónde. Si sí, no lo dice aquí. Vale. Tenemos tres lugares, las tres casas, donde han robado. Robaron en casa de Lady Grover, en Gallifrey Street. Entre Belvedere Street y Bonanza Road en Gran Sarai. Aquí tenemos Bonanza Road, que es toda esta inferior que está aquí. Belvedere Street es esta. O sea que tiene que ser más o menos... Ahí, más o menos, ¿no? Ahí. Vamos a probar toda esta fila hasta que aparezca. Ahí. Aquí vemos el asombroso Alonso. Who do you think you are, barging in here like this? Another hack writer from the Chronicle here to mock my misfortune. I will not tolerate your lampooning. I have no intention of mocking you, and I am no hack writer. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Holmes? The name sounds familiar. Are you perhaps related to that brilliant young man, Mycroft Holmes? My late husband, Sir Ralph, spoke very highly of him. Yes, indeed. He is my brother. I am sorry for your loss, Lady Gruber. Loss isn't the word for it. It's an outrage. It was a black pearl necklace, not some mere bauble. Actually, I meant your... Um, never mind. What happened exactly? What happened? I was robbed, for heaven's sake. 
While my guests and I were enjoying the amazing Alonzo show, a thief broke in through the window and stole my necklace. It was a magic show, yes? Oh, yes. Alonzo turned cards into butterflies. An impressive spectacle. Everyone loved it. Lieutenant Colonel Wolf became so excited he had a coughing fit. I had to send him to the guest room to catch his breath. Do you suspect anyone? Uh, one of your guests, perhaps? Good heavens, no. My soirees are strictly for Codona's creme de la creme, very far removed from the debaucheries of that libertine Lady Calf. Do I suspect Lady Vaughan, the governor's own cousin, or the right honourable Lord Crane, or Lieutenant Colonel Wolfe from Dorset? Preposterous! I'd like to take a look at the crime scene. Please go ahead, Mr. Holmes. I haven't touched anything whilst waiting for the police. Those laggards do take their time, don't they? Esto es interesante. El teniente coronel Wolf se retiró a la habitación de invitados durante un rato mientras tenía lugar el espectáculo. Y a lo mejor aprovechó ese tiempo para robar. A ver, ¿dónde está la habitación de esta señora? <ríe> y todavía las mariposas siguen dando vueltas por aquí. These cards are carefully arranged. The thief is trying to tell us something. All the other jewelry is untouched, but why? This butterfly must have seen something. Come on, little chum. Spill it. How did it get here? El resto de las joyas está intactas. Hay cuatro naipes en un tocador. Gas, un 8, un 7 y otro 8. This bedroom looks more like a treasury. Or a dragon's lair. Even asleep, she's guarding her precious hoard. Y salió por la ventana el ladrón. Mm. Eso no tendría mucho sentido. Si fue el coronel, no tiene sentido que sea él el ladrón. Porque lo lógico es que volviera junto con el resto de invitados. The glass and the locking bars are intact. The window sill is perfectly clean. Pero no hay signo de que entraran por ahí. No sé qué más me falta. Pushing this button swaps the upper and lower compartments and releases the butterflies. The audience don't notice the secret compartment hidden behind all the cards. Signed by someone from the audience, I think. Oh, ya está. Vale. A recrear el escenario, a ver. Ah, 
Vale, yo creo que según nos han dicho, tosió. Y lo dejaron entrar. Vale. Y fue él el que entró, vamos a verlo. A ver cuál es la otra opción aquí. Mm, podría ser. Puede ser que el coronel no robara directamente, pero sí dejara abierta la, la ventana. Porque la otra opción... Es... Claro, pero no podemos tener las dos cosas. Ah, abrió la ventana para tirar el collar, a lo mejor. Vale, voy a probar a ver si fue él todo. Ahí está, fue él. Bueno, solo para que pareciera que alguien había entrado. Fue el coronel. ¿Y qué te apuestas a que el coronel también estaba en el resto de los robos? Seguro. The thief didn't break in through the window, as he would have you believe, Lady Gruber. He picked the lock of the door from the guest room. It seems as though Lieutenant Colonel Wolf has sticky fingers. But why would someone of his station commit such a crime? He's a reputable man, a commander of the Dorset Regiment's 3rd Battalion. Did he introduce himself to you as such? Why, yes. He was such a debonair gentleman, a brilliant raconteur. And an imposter to boot, a thief in Wolf's clothing, so to speak. But, Mr. Holmes... That is a serious accusation. The Dorset Regiment has only two battalions, Lady Gruber. What are you saying? What? I need to sit down. Well, you know, I may catch the thief yet. Until then, I bid you farewell. Vale, vamos a la siguiente casa. Seguro que hay... Bueno, no sé si se habrá disfrazado de lo mismo. A lo mejor en cada casa se disfrazó de alguien diferente. Pero bueno, si hubo un tal coronel... Vamos por aquí. Coronel Wolf. Si en las tres casas hubo el mismo coronel... Está claro. La salida... Vale, la siguiente casa es... Galería de Sir Finlay Lane, en el cruce de Sol Row y Joy Avenue. Que no sé dónde estará esto. Aquí está Sol Row, que es toda esta calle. Y aquí está Joy Avenue y este es el cruce. Ahí. Vale, el cruce es este. Ahora tiene que haber una galería cerca.
What's up? Esto no concuerda con ninguna de las fotos, ¿verdad? No, esta no es. Nada, no. muy lejos El cruce es este, pero no veo ninguna galería. Interested in some Cordona news? Check the front page. You won't regret it. <laughs> La gente pega esos saltitos. Ese es el hotel. No, este es el hotel. Ahí no puedo entrar.
A ver, tendría que preguntar a alguien con esta. No, no creo. It's none of your business, worker. Vale, a ver ahora. May I ask you something? Ex excuse me, what? No, no se lo sabe. I'm not sure I know. This isn't working. No, no creo que tenga que preguntar a nadie realmente. Supongo que en la puerta habrá otro cartel. Igual que estaba en, en la otra casa, un cartel de, del mago. Aquí está. Este es el cartel. Entonces tiene que ser la casa. Tiene que ser esta. Mira que me ha costado encontrarlo, eh. My apologies, but I am not in the mood for visitors. Not after the debacle that was my last auction. Stolen from by my own valet. Bitten by the viper I nursed in my bosom. Oh, the indignity. Oh, drama indeed. My name is Sherlock Holmes and I could help you get to the bottom of this. Sir Finley Lane, philanthropist, industrialist, art collector. It is a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Holmes. I suppose I could use your help, if only to confirm my suspicions about Vincent. What happened at the auction? I intended to sell the gem of my collection, Cordona Cypresses, to fund an orphanage. God knows we need to take some of these poor waifs off the streets. To entertain my guests before the bidding, I arranged a magic show. When it was over, I went upstairs to the gallery, and it was gone. The cypresses were gone! Could you tell me more about Vincent? <laughs> a scoundrel with one leg and two faces. He's been my valet for a dozen years. Who would have thought that he would stoop so low as to steal from me? Vincent has only one leg. He lost his right leg in the Crimean War. But despite his age and his peg leg, he's actually quite spry on his feet, uh, on his foot. I took him in, gave him a job, and this is how he repays me. Did your guests enjoy the show? Oh, yes. The amazing Alonso is well worth the money. The orange trick was nothing short of amazing. Everyone was completely enthralled. So you suspect your valet of stealing the painting? There's no one else to suspect. He's the only person other than myself who was upstairs that day. He had asked for a day off only the night before, so I was a little surprised when he came here just before the auction. Did he tell you why? Something about a damaged wallpaper roll. I'm refurbishing some rooms, you see, but that's his job. I, I don't bother myself too much with the details. I'd like to take a look upstairs where the burglary took place. Well... Mm, you look like a decent man, Mr. Holmes. Here's the key to my gallery. It's the only copy, so please don't lose it. Oh, someone spilled the paint. Mind your step, Sherry. Una lata de pintura azul se ha derramado en el suelo. Y tenemos huella. Right, footprint size nine. Sí, pero solo tenemos una, o sea que. ¿Qué fue a la pata coja? Se supone que tiene. 
fellow's only got one leg. Can't blame him. Sí, pero tiene una prótesis puesta, así que debería tener dos huellas, ¿no? The paint splatters on the plank and floor don't match up. Falta un rollo de papel de la pared. Vale, aquí está la galería. Cordona Cypresses, Angelo Cicchetti, 1840. It doesn't matter who squeezes the oranges, what matters is who gets the juice. The ends in miner's end. The end of what? Of some miners, apparently. The frame is intact, he took only the canvas. These must be the names of the contributors. These must be the names of the contributors. Pretty big for an orphanage, an ambitious project. These are real sweet smelling oranges, not props. There are traces of concealer on the rim. Pushing this button makes the oranges grow within seconds. Secret compartments are hidden amongst the fake foliage. Nothing but a clever illusion. Vale, no sé qué tendrá que ver en todo esto la habitación en obra y la lata de pintura azul. A ver si podemos recrear esto.
puedo llegar al otro lado, ¿no? Aquí no. Vale, en esta habitación no había entrado todavía. Ah, sí, sí, claro. Lo que pasa es que... Sí. Fue por aquí porque, claro, la puerta está cerrada con la llave. Con la única llave que existe. Aquí lo que hay que decidir es si fue el... Si fue el que lleva a ver dónde está, no me acuerdo el nombre. Vincent. Si fue Vincent que la ayuda de cámara. O fue otra persona. No creo que una persona con una sola pierna haya podido pasar por el tablón. Así que vamos a decir que no fue Vincent. A ver, ¿qué cambia aquí? Arrastrándose. Oh, lo veo chungo, ¿eh? Yo creo que fue otra persona. Así que vamos a ver. Aquí tenemos que decidir si tiene algo que ver los rollos de... A ver, lo tenemos aquí. El rollo de papel de pared, si tiene algo que ver en todo esto o no. Yo es que no lo veo el sentido. Sabemos que falta un rollo. no tiene nada que ver entonces vamos a dejar así lo vamos a dejar así que esto fue Vincent y que el robo fue otra persona no. vale, vamos. vamos a decir que todo fue así a ver The thief entered the house, disguised as Vincent, removed his fake peg leg, and walked across the plank to the gallery where he stole the painting. El ladrón se disfrazó de Vincent. Cruzó por el tablón largo hasta la galería. Ah, eso es lo que estaba haciendo en el suelo. No lo había visto. Recortó el lienzo del marco y volvió a cruzar sin que lo vieran. Luego escondió el lienzo en un rollo de papel de pared y huyó. Vale, así, para eso necesitaba el rollo de papel, para esconder lo que había robado. Your valet is innocent, Sir Finley. In fact, he wasn't even here on the day of the auction. But I saw him with my own eyes. The man you saw was disguised as Vincent, with both his legs present and extremely capable. As you were engrossed in the show, he walked across a plank to the gallery right above your heads. An acrobatic feat of no mean proportions. My good old Vincent, in truth, I didn't doubt him for a second. Do you know who the brazen thief is? Not yet, Sir Finley, but rest assured I will find him. I would be much obliged if you'd recover my painting, too. Just think of all the urchins who would get a chance at honest work. Wait a moment, I thought you were planning to fund an orphanage, not a workhouse. Bah! Workhouse. What an outdated notion. The orphans will be fed, clothed and educated. Yes, they will also learn an honest trade. What's the harm in that? Surely it's better than picking pockets and begging on the streets? Es explotación. With all due respect, Sir Finley, this is exploitation of child labour, no matter how you look at it. You're entitled to your opinion, sir, but the fact remains, the painting belongs to me, and what I do with it is nobody's business but my own. Thank you, and good day. Qué amable.
Vale, y la última casa. Lady Calf, en Baskerville Street, al norte del cruce con Silent Way, en Gran Saray. Aquí tenemos Baskerville Street, que es todo eso, al norte del... Ay. Ahí está, al norte del cruce con Silent Way, o sea, tiene que estar... Ahí, más o menos. Voy a mirar los carteles que hay. Aquí está el cartel, ¿no? Sí, pues la casa tiene que ser esta. Wow, aren't you a dashing young man? May I ask your name? Sherlock Holmes, at your service. I'm Lady Carr, but please, call me Miriam. How have I never seen you at any of my parties? Oh, you've missed out on so much fun. The latest one was a blast. First, a magic show, and then, to everyone's surprise, an audacious burglary. I beg your pardon, Lady Carr, but why are you so excited? Wasn't it your house that was burgled? Uh, let me ask you. Have you ever witnessed a crime at a party? Of course not, but my guests have. Oh, it was a night to remember. Everyone's gone home, but at least I have these fine gentlemen here to keep me company. This looks quite lax for a police investigation. I'm sure the officers are eager to sink their teeth into the case, but I thought a small aperitif wouldn't hurt. Nothing like a little champagne to get the brain working, I say. Could you be more specific? What exactly happened? Well, uh, there were drinks and hors d'oeuvres, followed by more drinks, of course. And then we gathered to watch the amazing Alonso saw himself in half. Oh, it was breathtaking. Some guests had to be revived with smelling salts. Then I invited everyone upstairs to see Abel's collection of curios. And there, someone had stolen Abel's treasure. You mentioned a treasure. <laughs> Frankly, I have no idea what it is. Some kind of shell the size of a dinner plate. Didn't look that valuable to me. Abel brought it back from America, a place called Massachusetts or something. You mean Massachusetts? Yes, Massachusetts. That's what I said. He's been strangely obsessed with it ever since. Locked it inside a chest like some treasure. <laughs> Poor Abel, he's going to be so upset when he returns. Who is Abel? Your husband, I take it? Yes. My Abel is a famous, what do you call it, uh, astrologist. He travels the world, digging up saucy sculptures, old chamber pots. Astrologo, dice. <laughs> <laughs> you boys and your silly hobbies. I'd like to take a look upstairs where the burglary took place. Certainly, be my guest. Such panache. You have to see it to believe it. Vale, vamos a mirar. El crimen tuvo lugar en la planta de arriba mientras los invitados contemplaban el espectáculo abajo. Lady Calf me ha permitido investigar. Bueno, ya. Al menos la policía está aquí. En los otros dos sitios no estaba. Shards of a broken bottle. That must have been one wild party. Gosh, I feel sorry for that. Help. Lady Calf certainly spares no expense. Vale, sabemos que este truco se hace con dos personas. Así que puede que el... mientras el mago estaba en una caja. El ladrón estaba en la otra, a lo mejor. This deceptively simple box is actually an elaborate apparatus. Alonso must be a short, lean person to be able to fit inside.
An industrial looking saw, I imagine it's fairly loud. The saw was working for several minutes to build up tension in the audience. Para el truco de la sierra, Alonso empleó un aparato complejo con una sierra circular. Short brown hair without a root. Peluca. Si no tiene raíz, era una peluca. This ribbon bears faint traces of soot. Well, there ain't any rabbits in this hat. El sombrero de copa de un mago. Hay un pelo corto, moreno y sin raíz en el ala. Maradón de fiestas de Lady Calf. Dice que Gran Saray en el, es el distrito que nunca duerme, y no mienten. En especial en lo que se, se refiere a la residencia Calf. Lady Miriam Calf, esposa del aclamado arqueólogo, eso sí, no astrólogo, como decía ella, Sir Abel Calf, o Abel, como, es, como lo llaman aquí, ha celebrado 10 fiestas solo este mes, y no piensa parar. Con su esposo de expedición en Mesoamérica, Lady Carl celebrará otra lujosa gala. Esta vez con la asistencia del mejor artista de Cordona, el asombroso Alonso. Sir, only just wash the upstairs floor. Just stay down here until it dries. Sí, espérate sentada que no me voy a parar a... Voy a esperar a que se seque. Vale, aquí fue el robo. Tinaja italiana, porcelana cordona, 1692. Momia de una mujer joven, Egipto, hacia el 1000 antes de Cristo. Accesorios tribales, expedición a África Central, 1875. Botivo, eso no lo entiendo. De una mujer, piedra y mármol. Y artefactos mayas, excavaciones en Quirigua, Guatemala, 1873. Y algo más tiene que haber, ¿no? Escultura espiral helicoidal, material desconocido. Massachusetts, 1878. Va a ser esto lo que robaron. This doesn't make sense. Why haul this machine up here if one could just steal the chest? I'm not half bad, am I? Hm. You have to admire the gall. It looks like a leaf from a fruit tree. Botany is not exactly my forte, but it could be a pomegranate, possibly. Vale, ya se puede reconstruir la escena. Pero antes, hay que ver esto, ¿no? A ver, un granado. Pero como dentro no hay... Tiene que estar fuera, vamos a buscar fuera. That's it, a pomegranate. Fue por aquí. Aquí hay una escalera. Pues no la usó. Es 
These gardening clothes look dirty, but those aren't grass stains. It's paint. He's a fake. Large boot, size 9. The rubber is very thin, too thin for actual gardening work. Pero solo hay una bota, ¿y la otra? Aquí me sigue diciendo que use concentración. Pero aquí ya está todo. Nada. This ladder's pretty long. Long enough to reach the first floor. Vale, no es lo suficiente para llegar a la primera planta. A ver, voy a intentar reconstruir la escena, que a lo mejor el orden es ese. Primero reconstruir la escena y luego la concentración. Vale, yo creo que fue este. Mientras la sierra de abajo hacía ruido, portaban esta caja. Ese. Vimos que había una botella rota en el suelo. ¿Qué más? Solo dos. Ah, no, allí hay otra. Hay que salir. ¿Hay que salir? No, no tiene sentido. Ah, no, aquí. Y aquí estaba con la otra sierra. Vale, vamos a probar. Si no hay otra, creo que son esas tres. Vamos a probar a ver si es esa. To Correct. the chest and mask the sound, the thief used the same equipment as in the magic trick and at exactly the same time. Vale, pero falta por saber quién. ¿Quién está robando? Bueno, y no está robando solo. ¿Quiénes? Porque son dos. Al menos dos. I can tell you how the crime occurred, ma'am, but first, if you'll indulge me, you don't have a full-time gardener, do you? No, I don't. Why, do you think the lawn needs mowing? Your lawn is perfectly fine. I just wanted to confirm my theory. 
The thief was disguised as a gardener in order to blend in with the servants. He used a ladder to climb up to the first floor and later escape. But the sawing? Surely we would have been alerted by the sound. Ah, this is where it gets interesting. You see, the thief timed it precisely to match Alonso's performance. Evidently, he knew the trick inside out. Golly gosh, that makes it even more extraordinary. Mr. Holmes, you are a delight. You absolutely must come to my next shindig. I can't think of anything I'd rather do less, but this investigation is far from over. Farewell. El ladrón dejó tras de sí tres pistas. Cuatro naipes en un tocador. El fin está en Miner Zen, escrito en un espejo, y un atuendo de jardinero en una tienda de vestuario. Y tengo que buscar en los archivos. ¿En qué archivos? Probemos primero los de la policía. Crímenes contra la propiedad. Sospechosos. ¿Patrón criminal? No sé, no creo. Voy a probar en, en los otros sitios en... Por ejemplo... En el cordón a Chronicle... Es que no sé... Dónde buscar y si no en el ayuntamiento. Con esas pistas no me suena nada. Anuncios se me ocurre iba a ver si a lo mejor un 
un atuendo de jardinero en una tienda de vestuario. A lo mejor encontrar en qué tienda, en qué tienda compró el atuendo de jardinero. Solo quedaría probar en el ayuntamiento a ver si hay algo que se me ocurra. A contest for the guests of Cordona. Find hidden treasure. Negocios. Ahí estamos. Taller de vestuario de Gimbal. Situado en Copper Street, entre el Straight Road y Fourier Street en Miner Set. Fundado en 1878. Este es... El... Estos son los naipes, los cuatro naipes. El 1, el 8, el 7 y el 8. El taller quebró ese mismo año, desde entonces el edificio está abandonado, o sea que tenemos que ir. Vamos a mirar, bueno, vamos a mirar. Copper Street. Aquí está Copper Street. Entre el Straight Road y Fourier Street. Aquí. Es ahí. Y supongo que otra vez tendremos que enfrentarnos a, a la gente que hay dentro. Estamos buscando un taller de vestuario, así que todavía podría tener algún algún cartel o algo así por fuera. You must be the amazing. Aquí está. Sir, if you want to book a show, unfortunately. Es una mujer. Possible. All of my props have been confiscated until further notice. And if you are here to ask me about those burglaries, I have nothing to add to what I've already told the police. It wasn't me. Por eso llevaba peluca. Falso. 
bueno, lo mismo, la peluca falsa también. Pelo falso. Si no es de Adán, es una mujer. Eso ya lo habíamos visto desde el principio. Pecho vendado. Manos femeninas. Ser una mujer no es un crimen. Travestirse no es un crimen. No tengo pruebas sólidas de que el asombroso Alonso esté tras los robos. Debería escuchar su historia primero. El rastro de pistas me ha conducido a ella. No creo en las coincidencias. Me pregunto si el género es el único secreto que esconde. O si su disfraz es solo la punta del iceberg. A ver, es demasiado sospechoso que en todos los lugares donde haya ido se produzca un robo. Aunque sí que podría ser que alguien cercano a ella supiera dónde va a actuar y, y robara todo, pero no lo... Difícil. Quizás debería escuchar su historia primero. Vamos a probar esto. I'm investigating the burglaries in Grand Saray. The clues led me to this atelier, but I did not expect to see you here. Someone has clearly been playing tricks on you. Cruel tricks. It's good to know that you're on my side. I'm here seeking answers the same as you. The person behind this knows my tricks well. So well that it's uncanny. The thing is, I used to practice here back when the atelier was in business. Some of my props are still in the basement. And the answers are too, I think. What are you waiting for then? Look around you. This neighborhood is a criminal's paradise. The building is overrun by bandits. What should I tell them? Don't mind me, fellas, I'll be in and out. Let me compliment you on your disguise, especially the mustache. Thank you kindly. I wouldn't call it a disguise, though. Alonso is my stage persona. But the mustache is indeed fake, guilty as charged. Mine is a slow grower. Miss, please, I can see that you're a woman. Very well, I am a woman. So what? I've learned all my own tricks. I want to be taken seriously, rather than as someone's jumped-up assistant. Do you really think that if I didn't put on this act, I'd bask in the glory of being the world's first female magician? Actually, that sounds quite plausible. Huh, that's easy for you to say. Sometimes, if we want to be true to ourselves, we have to pretend to be someone else. My friend told me this once, and I think that he's right. It strikes me as rather dubious reasoning. Who is this friend of yours? A close friend, who recently arrived from France. Let's leave it at that. You may have exposed me, but I simply don't see how my personal life is relevant. Fine. I'll go inside and see if I can find something. Don't go anywhere. Ahora sí puedo entrar. No, I'll put you six feet under. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Take this. Ah, la máscara. The snuff's red. Ah, me mató. Rara vez me han matado. Vale. Tendré que tener más cuidado. Son cuatro a la vez. Don't bother moving. You've lost. No more crime for you until next month. Don't 
own cr the snuff's ready. Don't cry, you'll live. Vaya, sigue estar armado, eh. Ah, me lo cargué. Eso no era. Just die. We can overcome the brute now. No more crime for you until next. The snuff's ready. Difícil este. Miss the party. Don't bother moving. The snuff's ready. Hey, no tenía bala. No puede ser. Take this. I'm coming for you. Don't cry, you'll live. Give him the pepper snuff. Don't bother. The snuff's ready.
can overcome the brute now. Take a rest, my friend. Give him the pepper snuff. Take this! Symbol. The snuff's ready. Maté otro. Nunca había matado a tanta gente. No more crime for you. Give him the pepper snuff. ¿Cuántos fueron? Tres o cuatro. Estaba disfrutando de la refiega, algo de acción, gestas épicas, y entonces empezó a morir gente. Ojalá no matara a nadie, pues sí, pero no lo he podido evitar. The saw was tested on different materials, most meticulous. The same oranges as we saw at Lane's house. Timed to perfection. So little light for these little fellas. These must be the diagrams of all the magic tricks in the amazing Alonzo's arsenal. Getting warmer, Mr. Sholmes. Warmer still. Join me at the fireplace. Cordona cypresses and a bonus wallpaper roll. Estimado señor Holmes, confío en que sea usted quien esté leyendo esto. Es obvio que nadie más tendría ni la mitad de ingenio para, para seguir las pistas. La policía es incompetente en casi todas partes. Pero aquí es excepcionalmente patética. Imagine mi sorpresa cuando supe de usted un diamante en una pila de estiércol, un oponente digno al fin. Verá, robar es un tipo de magia. Cada mago recurre a su repertorio de trucos para engañar a su público. Alonso es un buen mago pero no el mejor, yo soy el mejor. Su nombre real es Melinda, por cierto. Como todo lo demás en esta isla, nuestra amoret empezó a aburrir. De modo que decidí realizar una última broma antes de partir. Y si está usted leyendo esto, no fue un esfuerzo completamente en vano. Debo admitir que tengo un punto débil con respecto a los huérfanos. Así que le dejo el cuadro. Destínela a una buena causa. Orbuamons, decía Holmes. Espero que nuestros caminos vuelvan a cruzarse. Arsenio Lupin.
Warm as steel. Join me at the fireplace. Vale, entonces el mago no tenía... No sabía nada de esto. Ya sabemos quién ha sido la, el, el ladrón. Así que hablaremos con el mago. No sé si habrá que hablar con, con la policía. Y nada más, ¿no? So, what did you find? Mentir, no, por qué le voy a mentir? You won't like what I have to say, but you deserve to know. Your French friend Arsène Lupin used this place as a hideout. No, no, that can't be true. He, he's staying at Il Palazzo del Luce. He's there at this minute. But how do you know his name? It is my business to know things, miss. He is the thief. This was all some twisted joke to him. No, th this is just... Th this can't. He was the only one who understood me. He, he said that he loved me. I don't believe that you'll ever see him again. He has slipped away from the island. Good riddance to him, then. All men are the same, aren't they? They come and go, leaving nothing behind but lies. Well, he also left the stolen painting. Debería quedárselo. ¿Por qué no? Que se lo quede. Although I generally do not condone misappropriation, I think you should have this painting. Go to Europe, resell it, learn new tricks. Just don't make a show of it. It's still stolen property. I will think about it. I never asked your name. It's Holmes. Sherlock Holmes. I am Melinda Teller. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Miss Teller. Good luck. Vale, el de la caja fuerte, ¿verdad? No debería revelar a ninguno de los sospechosos que no soy policía. Vale, vamos a intentarlo. Primero. Disfrazarse de policía. Y luego ir a los calabozos. Do you know anything about this? Unfortunately, my case book is empty on this. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Unfortunately, my case book is empty on this. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? Quizá no sea ese. A ver, este tiene que ser. Are you Mr. Capello? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm hoping you could spare a moment to talk. Manners, what a pleasant surprise. Most of your colleagues have lacked even the simplest of common courtesies. Soy un policía honorable. Le voy a mentir porque si no, no cumplo con... con lo que dijo John. You're a suspect, sir, but not yet a criminal. I shan't treat you as such. Your case is refreshingly unusual, and I wish to get to the bottom of it. Manners and enthusiasm. Huh. May you go far, young man. What can I help you with? Vale, mirada fija. Ropa nueva y elegante, limpio y a la moda.
Mano magullada, traumatismo reciente. Y está casado. Alianza de boda ceñida al dedo. Es un hombre metódico que pone el negocio y sus principios por encima de todo. Se mantiene en calma y centrado a pesar de que está arrestado. Tiene un cardenal en la mano, posiblemente tuvo que defenderse hace poco. Valora su vida familiar. Voy a poner metódico. You are surprisingly composed for a man accused of murder. Not so easily shaken, I take it. Life is full of surprises. You'd be astonished how many deals go sour due to a force majeure. One becomes skilled at adapting. I am confident this will all be set straight. Until then, I will endure. Much how you endure that injured hand. Those bruises look painful, but you seem barely aware of it. Were you attacked? Ah, no. A minor accident, nothing more. My heady days as a man out to prove his valor are far behind me. I now know that to succeed in life one must stay calm and plan ahead. The world will turn your way eventually. And if it does not, then one must persuade it so. Please, tell me how you ended up in this situation. Well, this morning some clients arrived to finalize their purchase of a Copello Maggiore safe. But when we opened the door, out tumbled a dead man. And I take it this wasn't normal? No, I normally keep my corpses in the wardrobe. Please, young man, spare me your wit. The rest of the day was a blur. I recognized the victim, and it seems so did the police. That was enough to make me the main suspect. Who sent for the authorities? No one. As it happens, we had a break-in last night. Nothing was stolen, but for insurance purposes, the report had to be made. So, police officers just happened to be on the premises when we discovered the body in the safe. You mentioned you were showing your wares to some prospective buyers when the safe was opened. Who were they? Clerks from the bank. They inspected the safe from top to bottom yesterday. I assumed the sale was just a formality at that point. And the safe was closed? It's usually open, but it locks automatically when the door swings closed. That's another marvelous Copello invention. A coffin that locks itself. Marvelous indeed. Help me grasp your movements yesterday. What time did you meet the customers from the bank, and did you have any other appointments? Yesterday, uh, the bank clerks arrived at 10 a.m. Uh, afterwards, I was alone in the office until my wife Augusta came in at 3 p.m. I left for home at 6.30 p.m. And what about this morning? Our meeting for the demonstration was set for 9 a.m. I arrived about half an hour prior in order to prepare. I have one final inquiry. Do you recall the time at which the safe door was closed? Young man, I may just as well ask you when you closed your cigar case. I have opened our safes a dozen times a day for a dozen years. I do not recall. You say you became the suspect when the police identified the victim. Is there history between you? Surely you jest. That man and I have never met, and never would, unless he became the first detty in history to use our products. Some sort of family feud? I'm afraid I'm not familiar. Ah, you must be new to Godona. It's an old tale. Back in Italy, generations ago, the Dettis tried to ruin our family business. They nearly succeeded. The Capellos rightfully struck back, but there has been bad blood ever since. And does that blood flow in you too? I told you, sir, it's an old story, or it was. I fear this horrible event portends worse to come. My wife may be in danger as we speak. I'd like to inquire about the burglary. I'm not sure I see the connection. But if you wish to know more, talk to Billy Lloyd, the night watchman. He scared off the thief. Was it also Billy that discovered the burglar? No, my wife did. She had stayed late yesterday. Poor Augusta. At least she's safer with the police than at home alone. Well, Mr. Capello, I think that's all I need from you at present. Where can I find your office? 
Here, take my card. Billy should be on site to assist with the investigation. And please, sir, would you check on my wife before you depart? Thank you. I will endeavour to speak with her before I leave the station. Please, treat her gently. Women lack our resilience when it comes to ordeals like this. I shall eagerly await your return. After all, there's little else I can do. Vale, cuatro pistas actualizadas. El robo ocurrió durante la noche y lo descubrió Augusta Capello y Lloyd, el vigilante nocturno. Parece que no se llevaron nada. Vale, es que me estoy imaginando que entraron para meterse para que alguien se escondiera dentro de la caja fuerte. Lo que no sabían es que la caja fuerte se cerraba sola. Y se quedó encerrado dentro. Vale, tenemos que hablar ahora. Y tenemos que ir a las oficinas que están en Adler Street, al este de la Catedral de San Clemente, en Escaladio. La Catedral... No, no se puede ir. Hay que salir primero. Está esperando del despacho del inspector. Pues aquí está. Would you be Augusta Capello? Must I really repeat myself to every baby-faced man in uniform that strides in? Soy nuevo. Forgive me, I am not the inspector, but I am working on your husband's case. Then I have nothing to say to you. Come back with the inspector in charge so that we may dispense with the endless repetition. Tomó lauda no hace poco, ojo lloroso. Alfiler de arpa dorada, regalo de despedida de 1875. Dedo anular, señal de inquietud. Ha usado lauda no hace poco, pero no parece habitual a la droga. Ha estado jugueteando con su alianza de boda debido a los nervios, yo creo que sí. Yo creo que va a ser esa. Voy a poner conmocionada. Whilst I prefer German composers, the harp solo from Lucia di Lammermoor stands out as one of Donizetti's finest contributions to the form. I'm sure Basilio thought the same. He... he did. How? Did he tell you how we met? Oh, there was no need. It is trivial to observe how much you value your memories of playing harp in the orchestra. And even an amateur Italian harpist would be familiar with Donizetti's finest work. Yes. Music is a balm in these uncertain times. It is nice to meet another who appreciates it. Much as I appreciate the truth. Please, Mrs. Capello, let me help you and your husband. I am not unappreciative, sir. But I'm afraid I presently lack the strength. Basilio tells me you were present during the burglary yesterday. What can you tell me about it? Oh, it gave me such a fright. I fainted, fell to the floor. I wish I could help you, but uh, I'm just utterly useless. Please, I want to rest before the inspector arrives. Were you familiar with the deceased man found in the safe? No, I did not know him, nor can I conceive of how the Poor soul ended up there. You've had quite the day, Mrs. Capello. I shall leave you be. If I have further questions, I may visit again later. Vale, ahora sí, tenemos que ir a hablar con Billy, que es el vigilante nocturno.
A ver, aquí tenemos Adler Street, que es todo esto. Está al este de la catedral. Así que tiene que estar por aquí. Por ahí, más o menos. Estamos buscando una empresa de cajas fuertes. Ahí. No sé dónde. Aquí tiene que ser. Hola, Dad. ¿Y este es Billy? Ill-fitting pants, wonky nose, and hair that appears to have been cut by your own hand. You must be Billy Lloyd. Oh, it's you! I knew you'd come. You did? You're Mirko Gallia, the best investigative journalist on Cordona. I'm a fan of your work. Alas, you're mistaken. The name is Sherlock Holmes, and your employer... Oh, of course. Discretion. I'm sorry. I, I doubt the policeman upstairs heard me, though, so your secret is safe with me, Sherlock. Mr. Capello told me you were present during the burglary and scared the criminal off the property? Yeah, you should have seen it. As soon as the burglar saw me, they went white as death, ran out the back door of the office. I heard a thud and cat shrieks, so I think they went over the railing and into the bushes out back. Clearly, my reputation precedes me. Mr. Capello was so proud. Hmm, you're a guard, but you didn't give chase. Well, by the time I made it outside, they were miles away. So I went back to help Mrs. Capello. That kind of gentlemanly courtesy is why I'm so well regarded around these parts. What did the thief look like? Shorter than me, mid-twenties, a huge scar across the right cheek going from the eye. Short hair. She didn't look like a ghost. Too corporeal. Hold on. She? You didn't think to mention the burglar was a woman? Why did you assume it was a man? It's the 19th century, sir. Ambitious young women are out there pursuing a career, and I, for one, encourage it. Yes, yes, spare me the sermon. When did the burglary happen? Oh, uh, after ten in the evening. I was just talking to Mrs. Capello. Does she normally work this late? No, it's the first time it happened. But usually I'm alone at night. I was explaining to Mrs. Capello how drinking water every three hours can help with digestion when she excused herself and went back upstairs. Then there was a scream, and uh, I ran up to the office, and... I know what happened next, thank you. What about last evening? Do you have any more details about the break-in? Of course. I write down everything that happens during my watch. Take a look. Fastidious in its mundanity, but I will make of it what I can. I must go and inspect the crime scene. If I have further questions, Mr. Lloyd, I will find you. Oh, don't worry. I won't be able to keep away. Right. Vale, a las 7 Billy llega a las oficinas y saluda a Augusta. 8 y 4 minutos, Basilio vuelve a las oficinas por la puerta de atrás y habla con Augusta. 8 y 9, Basilio baja para controlar a Billy. 8 y 17, Basilio se marcha a una cena de negocios. Augusta se queda a trabajar en las oficinas. Billy está leyendo un libro en la puerta principal. 10 y 11, Augusta baja de su despacho para hablar con Billy. 10.32 Augusta vuelve a subir. Billy la oye gritar después de ver a la ladrona. La ladrona, la ladrona huye, la caja fuerte está cerrada. Y al día siguiente encuentran a Nicolò Detti muerto en la caja fuerte. O sea, todo ocurrió entre las 10 y 11 y las 10 y 32. Vale, vamos a mirar primero dónde ocurrió el robo. 
o el intento de robo porque no se llevaron nada. Se quedó dentro atrapado. Blood on the safe door could have been left by the victim. Bruises, torn nails, bleeding was severe and continued at length. Clear indications of blunt trauma possibly inflicted before the victim was in the safe. Bulging veins, cyanosis, bloodshot eyes, odd foaming in the mouth. Clothes are not fully buttoned. Was the victim dressing or undressing? What a rotten way to die. Yeah, what a shame. La expresión facial y el tono de piel sugieren que la asfixia es la causa de la muerte más probable. Hay una espuma inusual en la boca, tiene magulladuras en las manos y las uñas rotas, parece autoinfligido. Hay restos de sangre arañazos en el interior de la puerta de la caja fuerte, podría haberlo dejado la víctima. Contusión en el lado izquierdo de la cabeza, no está claro si el golpe es anterior o posterior a que estuviera en la caja fuerte. La ropa de la víctima no está del todo abotonada. Y hay que hacer un análisis químico, supongo que de la saliva, ¿no? De lo que tiene en la boca. A lo mejor lo envenenaron, ¿eh? Y no murió asfixiado. A ver. No parece difícil. A ver si a esto... De resto uno. Y lo invierto, ya tendría el menos 2. El 4, si lo invierto, tendría el menos 4. Ah, espera, no me, otra vez no me estaba fijando. Hay que restarle 1 al final. Así que no puede ser... Tengo que poner aquí eh, menos uno. Este 3 tengo que convertirlo en menos uno. ¿Tengo algún menos uno por ahí ya hecho? No. Sería menos uno, cuatro y menos tres. Mira, con esto ya tengo el menos uno y el menos tres. Solo necesitaría tener cuatro. Si tengo un dos y lo multiplico por dos. Y ahora si mezclo estos y le doy y lo invierto. Justo. Eso es. La espuma alrededor de la boca es resultado de una intoxicación ligera, probablemente a causa del vino. Pues nada. Do you know anything else about the dead body in the safe? Well, there is the rule of threes. You can survive three weeks without food, three days without water. Three hours in harsh weather and three minutes of you talking without air. I'm sorry, did you say something? No, no, very enlightening, Mr. Lloyd. Thank you. Um, I don't know. No sé qué preguntarle. Oh, um, actually, no. Have you noticed anything different about Mrs. Capello recently? Mm, not really. She talks to me more when I start my shift. 
probably because of the 100 best curry recipes book I'm reading. Oh, and uh, we've been running out of paper a lot lately, so she often sends me out to buy more for her. She's very particular about the paper we use. Only one store on the island stocks it, and it's on the other side of the town. But I'm really fast. Interesting, thank you. Vale. Ha dibujado un perro. Está pasando de lo que dice. Vale, puede ser que la señora Capelo esté liada o estaba liada con el con el muerto y como lo pillaron se fue a esconder dentro del dentro del de la caja fuerte y se murió. I, I know of it, but forgot. What can you tell me about Mr. Capello? He's a good employer, but very focused on work. And very serious about security, of course, since he employed a night watch of my caliber. Not everyone appreciates his strict business approach, though. Store clerks don't seem to last long in the office. Good to know. Hace bien su trabajo y espera lo mismo de sus empleados. Billy dice que le gusta hablar con él, aunque últimamente le suele encargar recado. Va a ser eso. wine well enjoyed the bottle is half empty por eso se desmayó la mujer al verlo sí que lo reconoció cuál es lo último Ah, una segunda copa que escondieron ahí. Estaban bebiendo los dos. Y como lo pillaron, escondieron una copa dentro y él se escondió dentro de la caja fuerte. Hay una copa de vino bajo la mesa, se ha usado hace poco y parece que no está donde debe. ¿Qué más falta por mirar? I'm gonna catch the criminal myself, but later. Quizá debería hablar otra vez con la mujer. Oh, what do I get the worst jobs? Strength, security, peace of mind. Hmm, tacky. Well, you know, that's your opinion, good sir. No sé, no veo que me quede nada. Vamos a hablar con la mujer otra vez. A ver si enseñándole alguna pista o algo confiesa. De vino. I'm just so exhausted, sir. No, no dice nada. Can we please do this later?
Mrs. Capello, would you think your husband capable of that which he is accused? No. Basilio is a good man, a devoted man. I love him. He cares about his work and cares about me. He approaches all his passions with diligence and uh, temerity. I think there is nothing he could not achieve if he set his mind to it. Indeed, in all our years together, I cannot recall a single business opportunity Basilio failed to see through. Thank you, Mrs. Capello. Well, no me ha dicho nada. Algo me pasa por mirar. Ah, me falta recordatorio de la combinación, señor Joy. La combinación de todas las cajas fuertes de la oficina es 0013.0500. En el futuro, absténgase de meter sus pantalones en nuestros productos. Por favor, o tendremos que reconsiderar tu em su empleo. Eh... ¿Qué tiene que ver esto? Vamos a hablar con él otra vez, a ver qué me dice de esto. Is this code memo still valid? Oh yes, it's the same combination code everywhere. It corresponds to Mrs. Capello's birthday actually. In fact, during this year's celebration, I was allowed a sip of champagne. That's when I had to dry my trousers and then I had to Okay, thank you Billy. I'm going to catch the criminal myself, but later. La ladrona entró por la puerta de atrás. ¿Qué puerta de atrás? No hay puerta de atrás aquí. por dentro ni por fuera. Ah, ya ha aparecido algo nuevo. Ah, ahora sí. Ahora es diferente. haya que salir a 
aquí nada. Habrá que salir a lo mejor. Y la oyó pasar por los arbustos del patio de atrás. Vamos a ver. Arbustos del patio de atrás. Vale, por aquí. Está lleno de gatos esto. Y esta es la puerta de atrás. Pero desde dentro... Desde dentro no se no había. Vale, salió por esa puerta, saltó por la barandilla y rompió el pasamano. Pisó la hierba y ahí hay. The letter F is inscribed within a four-leaf clover pattern. Passe muraille. Walk through walls in French. Our thief seems rather arrogant. Vale, tenemos un juego de ganzúas de la, de la ladrona y no hay más. The letter F is inscribed within a four-leaf clover pattern. A comprehensive set of lockpicks, recently cleaned with no fresh scratches. Y ahora tenemos que buscar algo de todas estas pistas. Un ladrón o una ladrona. O sea que deberíamos ir seguramente a los archivos policiales. Con una letra F en su nombre. Vamos a ver. Sujetos sospechosos. Crímenes contra la propiedad. Y instrumentos criminales, quizás. Sí. Felicia Sevin. Felicia, 26 años. En la actualidad es miembro de la banda de los chicos del patio. En calidad de maestra ladrona, los chicos del patio tienen una guardida en Clay Street, en la zona centro de Miner's End. Tiene una cicatriz distintiva en la mejilla derecha. Cuenta historias contradictorias sobre cómo se la hizo, pero tiene, la tiene desde lo, por lo menos los 18. Después de que sus padres murieran en alta mar y de que se gastara la herencia, empezó a dedicarse al crimen. La han arrestado varias veces, pero siempre ha colaborado con la ley, lo que ha atenuado la gravedad de sus penas. O sea que tenemos que ir a Clay Street en el centro de Miner's End. Maybe it would be wise to take a look around outside before we enter. Just a thought. John ha sugerido que tengan los ojos bien abiertos cuando nos acerquemos donde paran los chicos del patio. Puede que no sea de ayuda para una confrontación tan peligrosa. A ver. Vale, está aquí en Miner's End, en el centro. En Clay Street. Aquí está Clay Street. Pues está por aquí. Pero según John, tendría que echar un vistazo alrededor antes de entrar. Preparaciones para un enfrentamiento con los chicos del patio. Dice, el tubo 
suele estar en el mercado de la zona centro de Mindset en Market Road. Que es donde estamos ahora, ¿no? Sí. El tubo, ¿qué tubo? No sé a qué se refiere. Las peores prendas al mejor precio, dice. No sé a qué se refiere. Vale, me voy a disfrazar. A ver, de ladrón. No me acuerdo cuál era. Este. Este con qué sombrero? Con este sombrero. No sé si el bigote importa. No. Voy a hablar con este tío, a ver. Get lost. No, dice piérdete. Despite being used, these goods are still oh, clothes will be worn well. Take my word. Como no sé lo que es, lo que está diciendo, voy a probar ya directamente a ir a... Sí, voy a seguir. Vale, otro caso no. Averigua qué información busca el tú. Ah, esto es lo que tenía que hacer. ¿Y dónde encontrarlo? Jefe cojo. Se lo merece. Mendigo soplones. Me debe dinero, herido. Nada. Jefe cojo y mendigo soplones. Ya tenemos dos. Other gangs are planning it. Y el mercado, a lo mejor. Vale, vamos a probar mercado. Herido no. No. Este sí. Mendigo soplones. Y el mercado, a ver si aparece. Ahí está. 
Mermando la fila, yo tenía razón. Parece que los chicos del patio se han movilizado. Debido a la chapuza de robo en Armor Copelo de Felicia Sevinch, creen que otra banda les ha tendido una, tendido una trampa y van a atacar pronto. Sin embargo, he oído que el tubo, el traficante de información cojo de la banda, está retirando a sus mendigos informantes. El tubo suele estar en el mercado de la zona centro de Miner Set en Market Road. Tengo que disfrazarme, supongo que ya estoy disfrazado. Hay que seleccionarlo. Y ahora hay que ir al mercado otra vez. The worst clothes at the best price. Y este ya no está. Ah, no, creía que este estaba allí, pero no. Criminal británico, voy a preguntarle. Hola, mister. Tengo algo de información para ti. Oí que estabas preguntando. ¿Tienes ahora? Bueno, vamos a escucharlo. No hay ataque previsto, fácil. O el ataque de la banda es real, difícil. Vamos a ponerlo en fácil. So the bandits, right? Not coming. Bigger fish to fry, they say. Bigger worries. Interesting. Are you absolutely sure? Heard it with my own ears. Lord is my witness. Ah, oh, good. Here you go. Buy yourself something nice. Might I suggest soap? Ah, oh, thank you, Mister. Thank you. What a simpleton. Supposed to be Philip from London. Good impression. Vale, pero tengo que seguir, ¿no? Ahora. Sí, tengo que seguir. Ahora sí. One man's trash is the worst clothes at the best price. Y supongo que ahora la pelea será fácil. Después de hacer esto. Vale, Clay Street. Vale, pero el problema es que no me dice... Solo dice que tiene su guarida en Clay Street, pero Clay Street es grande. Bastante grande. Ah, aquí está. Y esta es la pelea que sería fácil o difícil dependiendo de si hago o no la, eh, si hago caso a la sugerencia de John. Con Mr. Party. Oh. Too simple. Don't cry, you'll live. Ay, no le he dado. Ahora sí. Ready. I couldn't miss the party. I'm coming. Give him the pepper snuff. No estoy dejando que recargue la pistola. Venga, ahora. Al 
final lo voy a matar. Ese muere, ya verás. No sé lo que ha pasado. ¿Qué haces? ¿Qué haces? Ay, se ha, se ha atascado el juego. Y ahora se pone a recargar. Put you six feet under. I will end you. Ah, me mató. Pues menos mal que la versión fácil. No more crime for you until next month. Oh, oh. Too simple. I'm coming for you. Take a rest, my friend. The snuff's ready. Ah, mira. I couldn't miss the party. Y encima fallo. I couldn't miss the party. I'm coming for you. Oh, ow. No more. Give him the pepper snuff. Ay, no le di. Qué poco. Solo quedan estos dos. I couldn't miss the party. Too simple. Give him the pepper snap. Don't. The snuff's ready. Ah, pues quedan más todavía. Give him the pepper snuff. Ah, le estoy dando la pierna, no. Ese sí. Time to knock this guy out. Ah. Oh. Ah. 
too simple. The snuff's ready. Ya. Sí, listo. Okay, okay, I give up. I give up. Se ha trasladado a Felicia a la sala de interrogatorio. Y yo no sé cómo he podido entrar ahí con este disfraz. En teoría no podría entrar. This seems a better place for our conversation. I hope you're more talkative than your friends, Miss Sevigny. You can't do anything. You're not even a policeman. And I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. Is there nothing you didn't do, Miss Sevigny? Thieve for the gang? Break into the Armor Capello office? Kill Niccolo Detti? I... What? Kill? I didn't kill nobody. No, I... How... So you admit the rest. I suppose you won't mind explaining some things to me then. Vale, ya no fue, ya no mató a nadie. Ganzúa escondida dentro. <risa> Chaqueta reversible. Pantalón roto, arañazo y un gato en la pierna. Eh, su chaqueta es reversible para disfrazarse en un momento. Está orgullosa de su habilidad y lo demuestra, aunque solo para el ojo entrenado. Tiene un guardapelo en el que esconde una ganzúa. Yo creo que está preparada. You were in the Armor Capello office yesterday evening, Miss Sevigny. The same place that Niccolo Detti was found dead today. What happened? How would you know? You can't prove anything? It's written all over you, Miss Sevigny. I presume you did not intend your evening to end with a fall over the railing and a fracas with felines. Need I continue? I... Oh, zut alors. It was just a job, nothing else. I was asked to come. Here, see for yourself. I don't know who hired me, but I think they wanted to pin the crime on me. Poor Niccolo. When were you offered this job? Ah, oh, mon dieu. Um, I don't remember precisely. I, I think the letter arrived around 9.30 in the evening. It sounded tricky, but the money was good. And you arrived at the office? Perhaps 45 minutes later. I am very good, sir. I was in and out in five minutes. I don't like lies. No, no, wait. Um, okay. It took 15 minutes. All right? Still impressive, no? You knew Mr. Detti, how? Nicolo and I grew up together. I hadn't seen him in years, then ran into him on the street, smiling with some lovely lady on his arm. And that was the last time you saw him alive? Wait. Until I found him dead yesterday. That same woman was there, too. It can't be coincidence. You saw a woman in the office? Mm-hmm. She started screaming, so I slammed the safe door and ran when I saw a guard coming. Your thieving days may well be over, Miss Sevigny. Until this matter is resolved, you will remain here. Good day. Oh, Sherry, disappointing. We were putting on a show and you call it off halfway through. Eh, que fallado. Vale, porque no estaba disfrazado. Pero es que me han traído aquí directamente. Vale, yo creo que tengo que hablar con ella y enseñarle la pista de la foto de la mujer. A ver si es ella la que estaba con... Con Nicolo. I didn't do a thing. No, no puedo hablar con ella entonces. This area vale. is restricted. Genial, ahora no puedo salir. Ah, no, es que está... Vale, vale, es que no estaba dentro de la cárcel. What exactly was your relationship with Niccolo Detti? Who? 
Uh, what are you talking about? Madam, please, a young woman dedicated to her music and an enthusiastic artist, your marriage to Basilio could not have offered all you needed. And then about six months ago, you met Niccolò Detti. There was a spark, you started to see each other. It brought passion back into your life. How c could you? But your tryst didn't go unnoticed. Felicia Sevenier spotted you with Niccolò, but rather than cease your affair, you took care to avoid the public eye. You started working with your husband at the office and met your lover there in the evening after Basilio departed. Billy would not notice, and you hoped neither would your husband. Do I have this right so far? I... Yes. I love Basilio, I truly do. But his first passion is his work. I, I respect that, but it left me... adrift. Niccolo. Oh, sweet Niccolo. He was the man I needed. If he had had any other name, I... I would have talked to Basilio. But he was a detti. And your husband suspected something? I... I think he did. He asked questions. Billy's schedule was moved forwards, he... Yes. Yes, he suspected. And thus we arrive at the heart of the matter. How did Mr. Detty end up deceased in the safe? I... I do not know. Madam? I don't know anything about his death. Are you sure this is how you wish to proceed? It is the truth. Please, just leave me be. Apologies, Mrs. Capello, but I must go. ¿Y ahora qué? Acusar a quién? Solo tengo que acusar o a ella, a ver. Vale, alguien, supongo que el marido. Es que no estoy segura de quién fue la que le dio la carta a Felicia. Puede ser o el marido o la mujer. Es que la mujer a lo mejor organizó todo esto para matar al... a Nicolo. Creo que fue la mujer. La mujer es la que vio a, a Felicia con a, a, más de una vez. It is a shame it has come to this, but it is patently obvious that you are responsible for Niccolò Detti's death. How, how dare you? I wouldn't want him to. I. I see you need some persuasion. I know that Niccolò Detti went to the office to meet you. A ver, ¿cuál fue la ventana de oportunidad? Esto. Que Augusta baja a su despacho para hablar con Billy. Creo que va a ser eso. It was a midnight tryst. Niccolò would visit the office once Basilio left, but this time he returned. So you hid Niccolò in the safe. A foolish move. <sighs> I didn't know the code had changed. Mentira. It was the only choice. I, c I couldn't let him be found. I loved him. Really? You could have saved his life by simply speaking with your husband, but you sought to free him another way. Mentira. Ella sabe cuál es la combinación si es su fecha de nacimiento. Lo habíamos visto. ¿Con qué medio se cometió el crimen? Eh, no lo sé.
¿Qué medios? Esto, la carta Felicia. To free sí. Mr. Detty, you hired Felicia Sevenier, a petty burglar, to crack the safe, and as a result, you killed your lover. No, I. It's because the combination had changed. It is not my fault. You are splitting hairs, Mrs. Capello. The fact remains you chose to risk Niccolo's life rather than call your husband. And I know why. ¿Cuál fue el móvil? Pues esto ya no lo tengo claro. ¿Por qué? No sé por qué. No sé, porque su marido sospechaba, no lo sé. A ver, ¿dónde tenemos...? estaba que decía que su marido sospechaba o oh, está aquí es una de estas dos aquí no sé You were afraid sí. how it would affect the reputation of the Capellos, and you feared what your husband would do as a consequence. It's... I... He's a good man, but he cares about his business, about the family. It would have destroyed him. And now he's accused of murder, Mrs. Capello. How considerate of you. I... Mio Dio, how did this all happen? Puede arreglarlo, ¿cómo? Pero ya ha matado a alguien. Despite your best intentions, Mrs. Capello, I believe you are to blame for this sorry affair, not Basilio. I... I think you're right, sir. Basilio, he... He does not deserve this. None of this. It is not my place to decide what is deserved, but perhaps you now know what to say to the inspector. I do. Good day, madam. I don't think Mrs. Capello did this on purpose. I would have let her go. No creo que lo hiciera a propósito. Y no estoy tan seguro. Ella podía haberlo salvado. Ella sabía la combinación. Se lo podía haber dicho al marido. Podía haber hecho muchas cosas para salvarlo. Y lo dejó ahí todo... Toda la noche para que... Bueno, toda la noche. Se afició enseguida en unos minutos, pero... Lo dejó ahí dentro de la caja fuerte.
Vale, faltaría esto de las historias de Cordona. Este, el, de, el del poste. Voy a darme una vuelta por el poste a ver si... Si hay algo que escuchar o algo así. El poste está cerca de los barracones. Habrá, hablará de la soldadesca, pues. Vea. Eh, me parece que no es aquí. marcado en el mapa. El poste estaba marcado en el mapa, no me acuerdo. Aquí está. Es ahí. Era este puente. know anything about this? Ah, mate, I have to disappoint you. I know nothing. Can I ask you a question? I like your friend, but I can't help you. Time to check your who, what and what, Sherry. Who are you asking about what and dressed as what? Puerto, quizás en, veo muchas barcas. Estarán estos hablando. A ver, ah, es aquí. Es aquí lo que decía de hab hablará de las soldadescas. Son estos. ¿Qué efecto tiene el poste? Los otomanos nos provocan. El único que sabemos es ese. Ahí estamos. Algunas crueles tradiciones aún persisten en el mundo moderno. La jamarja o oh, venganza de sangre es una de las más peculiares tradiciones de Cordona. La gente eh, vindica su honor y su sangre de las formas más bárbaras imaginables. Cada cuchillo del poste celebra una venganza satisfactoria. Es aterrador. Parece un santuario del odio y del dolor. La peor parte es que la gente no puede deshacer las terribles consecuencias de esta tradición y se ven obligados a vivir con ella. Pues mira, era lo que quedaba. Caso resuelto. Este no está ni empezado siquiera. Y si esto está en el puerto... Vamos a ver. Extra, extra. Children homeless. 
interested in some Cordona news? Check the front page. You won't regret it. Sí, esta es la barca que vemos en la foto. Vale, hay algo donde... Aquí. Ay. Uy, se ha pasado. No sé lo que era. Este, una vista para la caza del tesoro. He encontrado este cofre del tesoro. Let's celebrate. Y lo demás no, no va a estar fácil. Este que está aquí está en un puente. Parece un puente grande. Pero ahí no es cuánto. puente no es además tiene que ser un puente que se pueda bajar este no es Tiene que tener una, una especie de almena y parece una grúa que hay ahí. son pequeños. Estos son puentes más pequeños. Vamos a probar con estos dos. Este no puede ser. Y este tampoco.
No sé, me habré equivocado en uno de los puentes que acabo de visitar. Este tampoco puede ser. Por el estilo tiene que ser uno de los puentes grandes. Este, este de aquí. Este también, pero eso ya lo he mirado. Este podría ser, pero este ya lo miré antes y no, y no sé si se podrá bajar. Y no tiene ningún árbol. A lo mejor mirándolo desde el otro lado. Ah, aquí hay árboles por este lado. Ah, va a ser este puente. Y tiene que estar ahí abajo. Ahí, ese es el árbol. Hay que bajar. Ahí estamos. Me quedan tres, pero solo para la etapa uno. Y lo demás no tengo ni idea. Es que torres hay un montón por todas partes. Pone atalaya, espérate. No hay... Atalaya, ¿no hay un sitio que pone Atalaya? No, pone mirador. Claro. Aquí, Atalaya. ¿Podría estar por aquí? Mira, este es aquí. Y hay que ir a dónde. Hay que subir por aquí. un sitio donde parece que hay tres ventanas me da a mí que no es desde este lado donde lo estoy mirando Pero hay árboles. Sí, sí es por aquí. Dice que tengo que subir por aquí.
Another treasure located. Ahí está, era ahí. Celebrate. Y luego ya estos dos sitios. Un templete y estatuas de leones. Vete tú a saber. Es que templetes hay muchos. 